Hi, everybody. This is Miss Sarah from the Fayetteville Public Library, and this is Toddler Storytime. Thank you so much for watching. Can you wiggle your fingers? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Good job. Okay, let's clap our hands. We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. With our friends, it's story time. We clap and say hello. Let's see, can we wave? But instead of waving like this, let's wave like this. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With our friends, it's story time. We wave and say hello. Okay, let's snap. You ready? Get those fingers moving. We snap and say hello. We snap and say hello. With our friends at story time, we snap and say hello. Well, hello, everybody. Thanks again for watching today. Hey, this past weekend, did you see something outside that you don't usually see? Mm, it's white and it's cold and it falls from the sky. Did you see that this past weekend? It was snow. I saw it and it was really fun. So I thought we would read some books about snow today. This book is called One Snowy Day. And it's such a sweet book. I love the pictures in this book and I hope you like them too. Spinning and twirling, they float to the ground. Millions of snowflakes not making a sound. That is true. Snowflakes are very quiet, aren't they? The house is all quiet and still nearly dark when one playful puppy leaps up with a bark. The snow coats the treetops. Uh-oh, I skipped a page. Two sleepy children soon out of bed Yawning and stretching and then patting his head. They pat the puppy dog's head. The snow coats the treetops and covers the grass as three happy faces peer out the glass. Remember waking up and looking out your window and seeing, oh, it's snow. It's so exciting because in Arkansas, it does not snow very much. It's such a treat. Some cheering and dancing and a quick bite to eat. Then out come four snow boots for four stomping feet. One, two, three, four. Does the puppy have to wear snow boots? No, he does not. Dragging a sled on a blanket of snow, passing five pine trees with branches hung low. The branches have snow on them, so they are heavy. Behind the old school where the icy creek bends, there are six boys and girls waving down to their friends. Oh, I love this picture because look at the sleds. Look at all the wavy lines that the sleds make in the snow. Seven sleds glide as one dog wags his tail. They speed down the hill, leaving eight curvy trails. That's so fun to go out in your neighborhood and sled with your friends. So fun. Falling back, whoosh, in a snowbank below, Carving nine snow angels swishing in the snow. Did you make a snow angel this weekend? So you lay down in the snow and you move your legs back and forth and your arms back and forth. And then when you stand up, it looks like an angel. That's so fun. Packing and piling a frosty white batch, 10 perfect snowballs for puppy to catch. Placing nine buttons in neat little rows, then eight chase a bandit. Hey, give me back that nose. What is missing on the snowman's face? 
his carrot nose. And who has that? The puppy dog. What a silly puppy dog. He has that nose. Seven scarves flying high. They laugh as they run. They can't catch that puppy, but trying is fun. Six silver lampposts, five birds in the sky, and four paws slip sliding as friends wave goodbye. They're all going back home. It's getting dark. They are probably cold. Three faces warmed by the fire so cozy. Two cups of cocoa make cheeks nice and rosy. Did you get to drink cocoa or hot chocolate this weekend when it snowed? That's the best part. And what do you put on your hot chocolate? You put marshmallows. One sleeping puppy starting to doze, snuggled up tight with a bright carrot nose. That puppy still has the snowman's carrot nose. While spinning and twirling, so fluffy and light, millions of snowflakes fall all through the night. The end. Well, I really like that book, and I hope that you liked it. Yeah, that was good. Okay, let's wiggle our fingers again. Wiggle, wiggle. Open them, shut them them open them shut them give a little clap 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 open them shut them open them shut them put them in your lap 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 now creep them crawl them creep them crawl them right up to your chin 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 circle around your little mouth but do not let them in can you hide your hands? Hide them. Okay, now lift them up very high. Falling, 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 falling right down to the ground. Then you pick them up again and turn them round and round. <gasps> faster, faster. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Slower, 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 slower. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. <gasps> Good job. Let's see. Oh, we did this not long ago. We did this rhyme, but I thought we would do it again because we're doing books about snow. Okay, so what is this right here? What did we build? We built a snowman, and now we have to say, hey, Mr. Snowman, what do you need? Can you say that? Hey, Mr. Snowman, what do you need? Let's see, what does our snowman need? What's the first thing that you like to put on a snowman? His face, his or her face. <gasps> so we need two eyes. Mm, okay, what else do we need for this snowman's face? Remember from the book we just read? We need a carrot nose. And you know what? Sometimes you can make a mouth on your snowman, but I don't have a mouth today. <clears throat> Let's see, he looks better already, don't you think? I think so. Hey, Mr. Snowman, what do you need? Can you say that? Hey, Mr. Snowman, what do you need? What else does our snowman need? What do you usually put on the front of a snowman? You got it. You put buttons or rocks or maybe some leaf pieces, whatever you can find outside. So these are buttons and they are green. Our snowman looks so much happier already, doesn't he? Hey, Mr. Snowman, what do you need? What else does the snowman need? You think he needs something on his head to keep him from being so cold outside? <laughs> yeah, he needs a hat. 
Oh, I just happen to have a very tall black hat for my snowman. He looks good. Hey, Mr. Snowman, what do you need? Hmm. Okay, so now we can go in a lot of directions, can't we? Um, what about, what does Miss Sarah have right here? Do you think this snowman needs arms? Think so? Sometimes you can find twigs or sticks outside. And so you can break one off and stick it in the snowman. And it looks like he's got arms. Yeah, that looks good. What do you usually wear on your hands when it snows? to keep your hands from being freezing cold. Do you usually wear mittens? Yeah, I just happen to have some mittens. Let's see. Ah, that looks good. That looks good. Oh my goodness, this snowman looks so good. Okay, let's ask him again what he needs. Hey, Mr. Snowman, what do you need? Can you say that? Hey, Mr. Snowman, what do you need? Um, what do you usually wear on your feet when it snows? You cannot wear flip-flops. No, your mom and dad will not let you wear flip-flops. What do you have to wear? You have to wear snow boots or maybe rain boots with extra socks. Uh-oh, there go our lights, don't worry. Mr. Bryant will get them back on. Look here, the snowman has blue boots. This snowman looks like he is ready for the snow. Now, sometimes right before you head out the door, let's say you've got on your coat, you've got on your hat, you've got on your mittens, you've got on your snow boots, your parent might put one more thing on you. They just don't want your neck to get cold. What might they put around your neck? It's called a scarf. So I have one for my snowman right here. Oh, doesn't our snowman look good? He looks like he is ready for a fashion show, a snowman fashion show. It is so fun to build a snowman, isn't it? I hope maybe you got to build one this past weekend. And Miss Sarah's going to cross her fingers that snows maybe at least one more time before we leave winter. Cross your fingers with me. I hope so. I hope so. Okay, I have a little rhyme. A chubby little snowman had a carrot nose. Along came a bunny. And what do you suppose? The hungry little bunny was looking for his lunch. What would a bunny want to eat for lunch on our snowman? He ate that little snowman's nose. <coughs> nibble, nibble, crunch. <laughs> Let's do that again. I'm going to put the nose back. A chubby little snowman had a carrot nose. Along came a bunny. And what do you suppose? The hungry little bunny was looking for his lunch. <gasps> He ate that little snowman's nose. <coughs> nibble, nibble, crunch. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, little bunny rabbit. Thank you so much. Okay, let's sing some songs. First, <coughs> excuse me, Miss Sarah is going to get out her scarf. I don't know if you have something around your house that you could use for a scarf right now. You could use a towel from your kitchen or even a blanket, whatever you might have. And some of you might even have a scarf at home. 
<laughs> One bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. Wave it high, wave it low, wave it fast, wave it slow. Where did it go? Do you see my scarf? It's hiding. <gasps> Peekaboo! Here it is. One bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. Wiggle it high, wiggle it low. Wave it fast, wave it slow. Where did it go? Where's my scarf? <gasps> it's behind my back. You found it. Where was your scarf? Did you hide it? Did you sit on it? That would be a good idea. <gasps> Peekaboo! Where did you go? <gasps> Peekaboo! Where did you go, friends at home? Can you put your scarf on your favorite stuffed animal's head? <gasps> Peekaboo! Oh, I have an idea. I can use my friend Rabbit. Let's put it on Rabbit. <gasps> Do you see Rabbit? Maybe. Does Rabbit see you? <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> Peekaboo! <laughs> Good job, Rabbit. Good job. Okay, let's stand up. If we're going to sing a song about snowflakes, okay? It goes like this. Dance like snowflakes, dance like snowflakes in the air in the air <gasps> whirling twirling snowflakes whirling twirling snowflakes everywhere everywhere okay so let's make our body i think snowflakes kind of have points right they're kind of pointy so let's make our body kind of like a snowflake okay I'll keep holding my scarf a little bit. Dance like snowflakes, dance like snowflakes in the air, in the air. Okay, now can you twirl and then squat down at the same time? <gasps> whirling, twirling snowflakes, whirling, twirling snowflakes everywhere everywhere okay make your body really big make it big like a snowflake let's go like this actually oh this is going to be fun this is a good thing to do let's take this arm here and i want you to cross it over across your body okay and then we're going to switch and do the other arm and cross your body you ready? Dance like snowflakes, dance like snowflakes in the air, in the air. Okay, now you ready to spin? Whirling, twirling snowflakes, whirling, twirling snowflakes everywhere everywhere. Good job, everybody. That was fun. You did a good job being a snowflake. Let's see. Let's read this book. This is called Snowmen at Night. Oh, have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about building a snowman? And then what happens at night? You go in and you go to sleep. But what does the snowman do? Hmm. One wintry day, I made a snowman very round and tall. The next day when I saw him, he was not the same at all. His hat had slipped, his arms had drooped down. He really looked a fright. It made me start to wonder, what does snowmen do at night? <laughs> I think that snowmen start to slide when it gets really dark off the lawn and down the street right into the park. So they leave your yard 
and they go to the park? They gather in a circle while they wait for all the others, sipping cups of ice-cold cocoa made by snowman mothers. <laughs> that is funny. So here we've got a whole bunch of snowmen eat drinking hot cocoa. Then the snowman games begin. They line up in their places, each one anxious for his turn in the snowman races. Oh, that sounds fun. Snowman races. After everyone has had a chance at racing once or twice, they go on over to the pond to do skating tricks on ice. Oh, wow. Sometimes they start giggling and then they act like clowns. They bump into each other till they all fall down. <laughs> they gather up their snowballs. The pitcher takes his aim and underneath the moonlit sky, they play a baseball game. Who knew? And I don't know that you can see it, but this moon has a snowman face. That's really cool. This book has good illustrations. No one knows just how it started, but soon it's quite a sight. With snowmen throwing snowballs in the world's best snowball fight. That would be so fun to have a snowball game with a snowman. Then it's time for sledding. It's a wild ride down the hill. Looks like they've got a really good hill too. Woohoo! They yell. This is by far the snowman's biggest thrill. I guess so. Me too. Finally, they're tuckered out and getting sleepy so. They slowly gather up their things, and one by one they go. <laughs> Look at this one right here. He's so goofy that someone's having to pull him. <laughs> Maybe, I don't think he's asleep. I think he's just being silly. So if your snowman's grin is crooked or he's lost a little height, you'll know he's just been doing what snowmen do at night. <laughs> oh, I love that. The end. I want you to think about that the next time you get a chance to build a snowman and you go to bed and you say, good night, snowman. I want you to think about what the snowman's going to do. Okay, let's sing a little song about sledding on a hill. Okay, it goes like this. Okay. Okay. Crunch, 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 crunch up the hill so slow. Sliding, 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 sliding down the hill we go. Okay, so you've got to pretend that you're walking up a hill. And walking up a hill of snow can be kind of hard. It's a lot of work to get to the top of that hill. Crunch, 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 crunch up the hill so slow. And then what do you do? <gasps> sliding, 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 sliding down the hill we go. Oh, that's so fun. Can you go fast? Can you go fast down that hill? Whoosh. <laughs> Sometimes it depends on how good your sled is. You know what? Miss Sarah's house, I don't know where our sled went. Maybe, I'm just not sure. We could not find it. So do you know what we had to use as a sled? We had to use the garbage can lid. Oh, man. But it worked pretty well. I give it, I give it five out of ten stars. It sort of worked. Okay, let's see. Let's count. Can you help me count these Snowman onto the board. I think I'm going to move our friend Snowman real fast. Oh, everybody say bye, Snowman. Bye, Snowman. Okay, let's count these. You ready? One, two, 
three, four, and five. Do you happen to notice what happens as we go from this side to this side? It gets bigger. That's right, we start with a small snowman and then it gets bigger. Five little snowmen all in a row, each with a hat that's made of snow. Okay, can you make a big sun? Out came the sun and it stayed all day and one little snowman melted away. Oh, I'm sorry, snowman. You know, that is what happens, right? When the sun comes out, the snow disappears. That's a bummer, unless you live in Minnesota. <laughs> and then I think the snow stays around for a while. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four, four little snowmen all in a row each with a hat and made of snow. Out came the sun and it stayed all day and one little snowman melted away. One, two, three, three little snowmen all in a row, each with a hat and made of snow. Out came the sun and it stayed all day and one little snowman melted away. Bye, snowman. How many do we have left? One, two, two little snowmen all in a row, each with a hat and made of snow. Out came the sun and it stayed all day. And one little snowman melted away. Oh, bye-bye, snowman. Okay, so we've got how many left? Just one. One little snowman sitting on the snow. He had a hat and was made of snow. Out came the sun and it stayed all day. And that little snowman melted away. Bye, snowman. Bye. <laughs> Good job. Let's see. Wiggle your fingers like this. Remember how some of our snowmen were big and some were small? That makes me think of something. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. <gasps> this is tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. <laughs> Good job. Let's see. I've got one more book called In the Snow, and I love this book because it's about animals in the snow. Someone's coming in the snow for the seeds left high and low. Millet, thistle, corn dropped so. Who do you think is going to come eat these seeds? Here comes chickadee. So here comes some birds. Here comes sparrow. Does anyone know the name of this red bird? Here comes cardinal. They are all eating those seeds. And crow. That black bird is named crow. So when it snows, the birds, they can't really find things to eat because everything is covered in snow. So it's very important that you put out some seeds and the birds will come and eat that. My microphone is hung weird on my ear. Oh, I'm sitting on it. <laughs> That's why I'm sitting on the wire. Okay, sorry about that. Someone's coming in the snow. Look at these footprints. What animal do you think that is? 
<gasps> red squirrel in gray, climbing high and running low. They're coming to get some seeds. So we've got the birds on the ground and then we've got the squirrels and they're gonna jump on the tree trunk. Someone's coming in the snow, bunnies hopping soft and low. Field mouse stops as shadows grow. Last to show in the night, in the snow. Here he comes right here. Do you know what animal that is? Old man possum, eyes aglow, dark shape crunching seeds in snow. So it's a possum. In the morning, in the snow, look who came and didn't go. Look, he's right there. It's possum. Old man possum in the tree. <gasps> look, is he looking at the child? Waits for more seeds brought by me. Look at that. I love that. Make sure you try that next time it snows. But the good thing is you can do that even when it's not snowing. You can put out seeds and you'll see birds and squirrels for sure. I don't know if you'll see a possum, but you might. Thank you so much for watching Toddler Time today. I hope you had fun reading books about snow. Let's sing our goodbye song. We clap and say goodbye. We clap and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap and say goodbye. We wave and say goodbye. We wave and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave and say goodbye. We snap and say goodbye. We snap and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we snap and say goodbye. Bye, everybody. I'll see you next week.